This is Mr. Martin. This is uh, video number one for section 4.3, uh, right triangle trigonometry. Uh, so in section 4.2, we were looking at the unit circle. Uh, in section 4.3, we're going to be looking at right triangle trigonometry. And really, they're they're intertwined and so closely related that um, you know sometimes you can use one over the other. But uh, it's important that you kind of understand the relationships between them and how they do. Uh, um, relate to each other. So, um, <clears throat> with right triangle trig, really uh, a lot of it is looking at SOHCAHTOA, which you learned uh, in geometry, um, where the sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. That's what the O stands for, opposite, and the H is hypotenuse. And the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tangent would be opposite over adjacent. So, you know, just a quick review. We've got our triangle. We pick one of our acute angles. It's always one of the acute angles. So in this case, I pick theta. And if we label this theta, just a little preview of things to come. If you remember from geometry, the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So I've got my right angle here. That takes up 90 of the 180, which means that I have to be left with 90 for these two angles. So if this angle is theta, how can we figure out what's left? Well, we just subtract theta from 90 and we get that that's 90 minus theta for the other acute angle in this triangle and we'll uh, we'll talk more about that uh, later in the video <coughs> so quick review from geometry we know the sine is opposite over hypotenuse the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse the tangent is opposite over hypotenuse and then of course we have our three reciprocal functions um, which we did talk about in uh, the other section as well. So in section 4.2 um, we took a look at the special angles, the 30s, the 45s, and the 60s and um, we found that um, all of these angles and their multiples are going to have x, y coordinates of so for uh, 30 degrees which was pi over 6 we have a half and root 3 over 2 for 45 degrees it was root 2 over root 2 and we'll look at how these relate to the tri the special triangles again in case you forgot from geometry and the 60 degree angles which was pi over uh, this is pi over 6 this is pi over 3 okay and um, let's get my highlighter over here these go with these and the pi over 3 which is 60 degrees goes with these coordinates and then our 45 45 which is uh, pi over 4 goes with that I'll put the pi over 4 in there pi over 4. Okay, so make sure you, you mark these accordingly because it does say respectively, but um, I did mix these up. So uh, pi over 3 goes with 1 half root 3 over 2. Pi over 6 goes with root 3 over 2 and a half. So let's take a look at how these come in when we're looking at the triangles. So let's start by looking at the 45, 45, 90, which is our isosceles right triangle. And if you remember, the ratio of these sides in a 45, 45, 90 is always the same. So um, these legs have to be congruent, so we're going to let each of those be 1. And if I use Pythagorean theorem, I can find out that the hypotenuse here has to be square root of 2. So the ratio is always the same. It's always 1 to 1 to root 2. <coughs> and then I can find um, the sine, cosine, and tangent for my uh, 45, which is uh, pi over 4. So I've got the sine of 45 which is the sine of pi over 4 so that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse so that's 1 over root 2 which when we simplify is root 2 over 2 if you forgot how to simplify make sure you ask me in class and then we've got the cosine of 45 is going to be the cosine of pi over 4 which again is 1 over root 2 because the legs are congruent which is root 2 over 2 and then that would make the uh, tangent come on now tangent 
tangent of 45 degrees is equal to the tangent of pi over 4. I'm just kind of repeating this to help you remember it. Um, and that's going to be, so it's sine over cosine, so root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2, and anything divided by itself is just 1. So you can see um, the sine and cosine, you get the same thing that we got up here. Cosine root 2 over 2, sine root 2 over 2. Um, same thing we got here, and then to get the tangent we would just do y divided by x. So let's go ahead and take a look at our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So here's my 30 degree angle. Here's my 60 degree angle. And we know this ratio of these sides is 1 for the short leg. Hypotenuse is twice as long. And then the long leg was square root of 3. So let's go ahead and find uh, the sine, cosine, and tangent for uh, both of these acute angles. So we'll do it first for the 30 degree angle, and then we'll do it for the 60 degree angle. So we've got the sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to the sine of pi over 6. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we have 1 over 2. And then the cosine of 30 degrees, which is the cosine of pi over 6, adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's root 3 over 2. And then the tangent, which is the tangent of pi over 6, is opposite over adjacent. So that's 1 over root 3, which when we simplify is root 3 over 3. So that's the sine, cosine, and tangent for uh, the 30 degree angle. Now let's do the same thing for the 60 degree angle. So I've got the sine of 60 degrees, which is the sine of pi over 3. Sine is opposite over um, hypotenuse, so opposite side in this case is square root of 3 because now we're over at the 60 degree angle, so square root of 3 over 2 and the cosine of 60 degrees is the cosine of pi over 3 so that's adjacent over hypotenuse so that's a half and the tangent of 60 degrees which is the tangent of pi over 3 so that's uh, opposite over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 1 which is just simply root 3 so another uh, little preview of things to come. If you notice, um, 30 and 60 are complementary. Any two angles whose sum is uh, 90 are complementary, any two positive angles. <coughs> so here I have the sine of 30 is equal to a half. And over here I have the cosine of 60, which is also a half. So 30 and 60 are complements, and sine and cosine are what we call co-functions. And we'll, uh, we'll talk more about that later in the video. And then one more example, if we look at uh, the cosine of 30 degrees, that's root 3 over 2. And the sine of 60, so again 30 and 60 are complementary, we see that that's also root 3 over 2. So again we have co-functions. We have complementary angles. They have to be equal. Um, and we'll look more at that a little bit later. Alright, so um, you can see that our sine, cosine, and tangent for all of these are exactly the same as what we found out over here. Okay, so you can think of it in terms of the triangle you can memorize these, which is personally the way I like to do it. Um, or you could just draw a triangle every time. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. <coughs> so for number one, we're going to
sketch a right triangle and find the remaining trig functions if secant of theta is equal to 3. Alright, so really this is um, 3 over 1. And um, since the secant is um, 3 over 1, right away we know that it's reciprocal function. The cosine of theta is 1 over 3. So I'm going to use that to help me draw my triangle. So I'm going to put theta down here in the bottom left. Here's my right angle. I know the adjacent side is 1. I know the hypotenuse is 3. I'm going to call that y. So I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I've got 1 squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. So I've got y squared is equal to 8. So I've got y is equal to the square root of 8, which simplifies to 2 root 2. So this side here is 2 root 2. And now that I have the three sides of my triangle, I can find, I've already got two of them, I can find the other four uh, trig functions. So I've got the sine of theta. It's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So I've got root two, or two root two over three. And the tangent of theta is equal to two root two over one, which is just two root two and I've already got the secant so the cosecant of theta is 3 over 2 root 2 so we'll simplify that by multiplying by root 2 over root 2 so that's 3 root 2 over that's going to be 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 and the cotangent of theta is going to be the reciprocal of the tangent so 1 over 2 root 2 Again, we're going to simplify by multiplying by root 2 over root 2, so that gives me root 2 over 4. Alright, so um, I'm going to end this video here, and uh, I'm going to make one more video with a second example and some other information on cofunctions. Um, uh, so make sure you watch that one as well. You can use the same uh, note sheet and uh, write down any questions you have in the margins and uh, ask me next time you see me in class.